Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today we are doing a Melanie Martinez inspired makeup look. And this is based off of her look from her Cry Baby album or just her in general. I filmed this right before going to her concert so I'm going to show you guys how I turned myself into a Cry Baby. So I begin by priming my face with my priming spray so everything will stick. Then I use my favorite foundation and I actually just posted a foundation routine so you guys can watch that for more details but I'm also going to run through this really quickly in this video. I'm doing some concealer just to cover everything up so it doesn't look like I was crying. Then I'm gonna do some light sculpting and contouring with my Clinique Chubby Stick, which is really funny because it makes you look less chubby when you use it. Then I'm gonna use my Ofra powder so I can highlight and sort of set my makeup at the same time than my regular powder and you'll get all the details of why I do this in my actual foundation routine video linked in the description box down below. Now I'm going to use my bronzer. Just bronze up a little bit, look like I'm sun-kissed. Also adds a small bit of glow. I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit, just look a little bit more defined. And I'm going to add a little bit of a flush, which is actually the name of this blush, but you also get a little bit flushed when you're crying, I guess. <laughs> Highlighting is a must, as usual, and uh, it's my favorite part of my face makeup, so yeah, just look at your reflection in that. <laughs> Brows are very important. It's just kind of a must. If you're going to do your face, gotta do those brows. Look at that thirsty gal. Stay hydrated, though. <laughs> Don't forget to prime your eyelids because if you're going to be slapping on all that makeup, you want it to stay on for the whole concert. Now I'm taking this orange and I'm going to put this in my crease, kind of like a cut crease because it's based off of the look that I showed you guys before. And it had sort of like an orangey, blushy, pink kind of feel to it. So I'm just placing that in there and then using a fluffier brush to blend that out more and kind of fade it up towards my brow bone but keeping it still sort of defined. Now I'm going to use the pinky peach kind of color and once that's already blended out I'm just going to add that into the mix and add just a little bit more of a blushy pink color to that. Now I'm using my winterberry palette because it had this very pretty shimmery pink kind of color just like what was on Melanie's lids. So I'm just going to place that all over my eyelids with a regular eyeshadow brush and then use my fluffy brush to blend that out into the sunset crease that I've got going on. Now I'm using a matte bright pink and this is going to be in my outer corner and a little bit throughout the crease just to kind of add definition and add some color. Mixing those two shadows, I'm going to kind of deepen up the crease without getting too crazy, which is why I mixed the brown with the orange. Now just taking the orange on an angled brush, I'm going to add some color to my bottom lash line, as Melanie had in her picture, and a little bit of pink to that too, because that's what I did for my crease. I'm going to add some brown on the outer half just to define that half of the under eyes but also to keep the color kind of consistent with the top. I'm highlighting my brow bone using my same highlighter and just applying that with my fingers and I'm also pulling down the inner corner and nose. I'm going to line my lids with my liquid liner because it's the best way to get a nice sharp line and then I'm going to use a white pencil for some more contrast and to make my eyes look a little bit more doll-like because I came from a D-O-L-L-H-O-U-S-E. I see things that nobody else... Okay, I'm so sorry. I totally just missed that. Put on mascara, put on some lashes. Now, I'm going to use some white eyeliner and I'm putting those on like freckles. And I thought this was the cutest thing about Melanie's makeup and I think I'm gonna start doing this more often because I just absolutely love how it turned out. Now I'm gonna use my NYX eyeshadow pencil and I'm gonna paint on a teardrop because I killed somebody but I don't wanna get it tattooed because my parents would be very upset about that. So we'll just draw it on. Also because I'm a crybaby, apparently. I did white on the bottom so the blue will pop on top and now I'm outlining it like she had hers outlined. Also of course you gotta add some glitter so I'm adhering that with my duo lash adhesive and then I'm just going to stick the glitter on using the same brush and this is just some random glitter like I really don't even know where it came from but you'll be able to find some blue glitter if you try hard enough. 
using a blue lip color, I'm going to just put it on like a normal person, really. That's why I speed through it, because like, you guys know how to put on lipstick. But it's a very beautiful blue. And that's everything, so I'm just gonna spray and set my makeup. And now you are a crybaby that will be crying glitter all night long. This is how it ended up looking. I absolutely love the look and had so much fun at the concert. I will be posting the link to my vlog in the description box so you can see the day of the concert. You can see a little bit of what went down and I just vlogged the whole day. It's a very interesting trip actually. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and all my other social media links down below. Subscribe to my channel if you feel so inclined. And I will see you crybabies in the next one. Kisses. Mwah.